हेलो एवरी वन आई एम शंभू सिंह लेक्चर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूडे आई वुड आई वुड लाइक टू कंटिन्यू विद माई लेक्चर ऑफ एंटरप्रीनरशिप सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द जनरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ एंटरप्रीनरशिप इन द इट वॉज इन अ वेरी ब्रॉड सेंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्पेसिफाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एंटरप्रीनरशिप इट वॉज फर्स्ट यूज इन नाइन सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री बाई रिचर्ड कैंटिलियन टूडे द टर्म एंटरप्रीनर एम्प्लाइज क्वालिटीज ऑफ लीडरशिप इनिशिएटिव एंड इनोवेशन इन बिजनेस दिस टर्म वॉज क्वाइंड अराउंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटीज फ्रॉम द फ्रेंच वर्ड एंट्रीप्रिडेंडा विच मीन्स टू टेक अप एज यू कैन सी द वर्ड इट सेल्फ टेक अप द एन एंटरप्रीनर टेक्स अप द चैलेंजेस ही लीड्स ही इनोवेट इन बिजनेस एंड अचीव सक्सेस any individual who organizes or operates a business or businesses is a definition coined by jean baptiste say he brings in overall change through innovation for the maximum social good human values remain sacred and inspire him to serve the society he has firm belief in social betterment and he carries out his responsibility with conviction he accelerates personal economic as well as human development characteristics of an entrepreneur first and foremost is innovative an entrepreneur who initiates research and innovative activities to produce goods and satisfy customers changing demands for products as we know that if you wants to achieve success in any business you have to bring something new so that customers can benefit from it if the customer is not benefiting from any product he is not going to buy it so innovation is the first and foremost demand for an entrepreneur hard work willingness to work hard the entrepreneur with his tedious work sweat filled hours and perseverance revive their business even from the verge of failure he works hard endlessly from the beginning to the end another important aspect is hard work if you are not willing to work hard you are not going to succeed every every challenge in life needs hard work without hard work you cannot do anything so succeeding in any business you have to work hard so that you can come above of your competition desire for high achievement the entrepreneurs have strong desire to achieve high in business this high achievement motive help them to surmount the obstacles suppress anxieties and repair misfortunes if you are not motivated to achieve high you are not motivated to work hard so to achieve something in life you first have to work hard and if you are not desiring for any achievement you are not doing anything so to be an entrepreneur you first have to aim higher to achieve higher this will keep you motivated risk bearing capacity this is also another important aspect of an entrepreneur without risk taking ab- ability you cannot gain much safe and secure businesses doesn't give much revenues or profits the higher the risk the higher the profit so entrepreneurs are r- risk takers ready to dive deep into a future of uncertainty next one is adaptability and flexibility it's good to be passionate or even stubborn about what you do you need to adapt new things and be flexible enough to incorporate new ways and new methods to do business highly optimistic it's very clear that a negative person cannot do much if you are optimistic about what you are doing then only you can have that attitude to do it with hard work and diligence so entrepreneurs are not disturbed by present problems faced by them 
they are optimistic for future that the situations will become favorable in business and they can run the enterprise successfully in business so being optimistic is the key factor independent they do not like to be guarded by others to follow their routine independence is one of the favorable thing which comes with entrepreneurship if you are working for someone else you are not independent you you have to think what they ask you to think you have to do what they ask you to do but with entrepreneurship you are independent to to do whatever you want however you want whenever you want foresight they visualize well the changes likely to take place in the market consumer attitude technological developments and take time actions accordingly foresight is very necessary because what you are doing today is going to give you profits in the future so if the things you are doing today are not going to be in demand in future then they are not going to give you any profit so first you have to analyze that will these business strategies will work in the future will be acceptable in the future or not good organizer different resources required for production are divorced from each other and it is the ability of an entrepreneur to bring all resources together mm-hmm. for starting up we all know that for any production to run we need man we need machine we need materials and we need money so all these things are separated separate from each other they are divorced from each other so it's the role of entrepreneur to bring all resources together marry them together so that they can produce a product so to achieve this you the entrepreneur have to be a very good organizer classification of an of entrepreneur uh, the there are four major classification for first is innovating entrepreneur this is the kind of entrepreneur who innovate something new create its demand in the market see these innovative products don't have use for a, a customer before they were invented after they invent they create their need to the customer example is apple iphone steve jobs innovated this smartphone before the invention of smartphone we never needed any smartphone after the creation of this apple product by steve job people felt the need that they should have this product so this is the example of innovating entrepreneur second is imitative entrepreneur imitative entrepreneurs are the ones who bring the changes in economy they produce jobs they produce products for masses for common people and they bring boom in the economy because of the volume of products they produce and are being sold but they don't innovate any any new thing they just simply copy the existing well established product in the market and these kind of entrepreneur mostly succeed in developing countries as developing countries don't have money and resources to buy innovative products because they are usually very costly but with imitative entrepreneurship we have for example like google google imitated the apple iphone with the help of android did they, they developed the operating system android and with the android they have huge success most of the people who use smartphone use android smartphones so this is a classic example of imitative entrepreneur the other one is fabian entrepreneur fabian entrepreneurs are those entrepreneurs who don't adapt to new things and they don't they fear taking risk they fear taking new challenges or new methods of doing business for example microsoft sorry nokia nokia smartphones uh, nokia phones were very s- successful in creating s- mobile phones and they were doing very good job on it 
but they they fail to assess the situation which is going to arise after the onset of smartphones in the market they fail to compete or cope up with the smartphone demands and they never created any smartphone so they were phased out of the market so these are fabian entrepreneur they think whatever they are doing is good and they think this is the best method of doing business so ultimately they fail other one is drone entrepreneur drone entrepreneurs are like for example microsoft they uh, created a joint venture with nokia and they come up with their own operating system for smartphones and they created a smartphone for the market it was totally imitative and it was teamed up with other fabian entrepreneurs who were very skeptical about taking risk or adapting new methods so ultimately their product failed so these are the example of drone entrepreneur thank you for today's lecture